Hey guys, even here, and apparently, unfortunately, Cedric McMillan has passed away. Yeah, I know, it's horrible. I mean, I'm in as much of a shock as you are probably right now. And at this point, you probably already saw this post made, made by Nick Tregilly. And um, it seems to be true, actually. At first, I wasn't sure should I even make a video about it because I wasn't sure if it was true. But as you guys know... Uh, Nick is sponsored by the same company as myself, Old School Labs, and I know that Nick Dragilli is friends with Cedric McMillan, so he was following this uh, situation closely, he's uh, friends with his family, and uh, apparently, yeah, uh, Cedric passed away. This is crazy, I mean, Cedric, he was one of my favorite bodybuilders. You usually look up to the guys who look the most like you, and Cedric was a taller bodybuilder like myself, and I know that I would never be able to accomplish what he accomplished, not even close, but, you know, I looked up to him, he was one of my favorite physiques of all time, honestly, if you guys follow my channel and my videos, you know, you know that, and now he passed away, so this is, I mean, this stuff is happening so often lately, it's crazy, one by one, they are passing away in their 40s, sometimes even younger, but, you know, if you guys take a look at the history of bodybuilding, it seems like that after the 90s, like since the 2000s, bodybuilders have gotten much bigger, and many bodybuilders should have just stayed classic, and I think Cedric was one of those guys, uh, apparently there was no classic physique back in the day, so he pushed the weight too much, a little bit too much, he was over 300 pounds, and of course, it's gonna take a toll on your body, uh, unfortunately, a decade or two decades later, so many of them are slowly dying, dying off, passing away, you know, it, it's horrible, it's, it's really sad, but it is what it is, I'm a bodybuilder myself, of course, I'm doing classic, not bodybuilding, and I know how unnatural and how hard it is to put on one pound of muscle, let alone 30, 50, 60 pounds, or how many pounds these guys are adding over their careers, so what they're doing is really dangerous, it's really unhealthy. If you guys watched my previous video, JP admitted that he was using 5 grams of gear per week. So I'm sure most of these guys that are dying young probably push things at some point really hard. So lately, you guys know that Cedric wasn't very healthy. First, he had some heart issues. As he says, he almost died at some point. And then later he had some um, esophagus problems, he was having hiccups, he wasn't uh, able to digest food properly, he stopped his Arnold Classic prep, and I don't know what he was doing after that, uh, was he trying to push things again, you know, to blast his cycles to get the size back, I don't know, I can only assume and speculate, but apparently he wasn't very good, and unfortunately, very very sadly, he died, he passed away. As the day goes on, you will be seeing more and more of these posts, uh, other bodybuilders, other uh, fitness influencers, other people from the industry will be making uh, rest in peace posts because many of them are finding out that this is actually true. This story is all over Instagram at this point. I wasn't sure should I make a video because I wasn't sure if it is true or not, but at this point, so many people have shared it. Uh, it's all over the internet, so yeah. Yeah, it apparently happened. I don't have a lot of information. I don't know exactly what was the cause. Uh, I'm sure we're going to find out soon enough. But as for now, we just know that uh, Cedric McMillan is no longer with us. It's really sad. It's really horrible. Cedric McMillan, may you rest in peace.